Instant cats. Just add water. <laughs> and they say cats don't like water. <laughs> Let's just sneak on by. Aww. Nothing to see. Home free. Oh, coochie coo. <laughs> this is gonna be a great day. Oh, I jinxed it. Hmm. This bed could use a makeover anyway. <laughs> Remove this wood. Add a panel to the side. Oh, anyone getting dizzy? A fresh coat of paint fixes up everything. All three walls. Let's see what we can do for the outside. A stencil pattern. Let's spread on some paint. Who says we need a brush? Besides, this is much faster. Peel off. On second thought, a brush can take care of the little details. Look, a cat face. As if you didn't guess who this was for. Hmm, this hole looks scratchy. And not the kind cats like. This cat door will help make an easy entrance. And with the help of these toothbrushes, the cats will get the scratches they like. Let's take a quick tour, shall we? This grass carpet will please the wild cat inside your pet. What else can we add? Hmm, an old pizza box? Cover with tape, and you can make a few steps. Steps right to the cat's own private bathroom. Meet the new and improved litter box. Now, what else do cats like? How about this? Take some rope and twist it around a base. Tie it so it's nice and tight. And your cat has a new scratching post. What else? Maybe they'll like that pigeon. Oh, even better. Take a desk drawer. Add pillows, cushions, and some toys. And it's a brand new bed. Here's something we can add to the wall. Now your cats have their own private television. Oh, it's getting hot in here. You know, the cats might want a drink. So, let's give them their own fountain. After all, it's easy to get hot when you can't take off your fur coat. Always smart to try things out before trying on the cats. Now that they have water, they might want something to nibble on, too. And we're going all natural with cat grass. And there's plenty of room for a bowl full of cat chow. But let's keep the fridge stocked with wet food, just in case. Everything's really coming together. Let's add some more toys. <laughs> Well, he's off to Wonderland. What's down there anyway? Ooh, candy. Oh, this bowl should fill up the hole. It's the perfect place for some cat toys. And if the cats are feeling a bit hungry at playtime, this toy's the perfect thing. Just add food. See, they'll get a treat when they spin it around. That'll keep them active. <laughs> hey, can we borrow this pillow? Now take some tights and cut them up. We need an X shape with some material in the middle. Tie each of the two opposite ends together. It's like a bed and swing all in one. Let's test it out. <laughs> You know, these buttons can help get their point across. They can tell us when they want water, food, or even playtime. It's a bit too small to be a staircase. But we can still use the base. 
attached to the wall, and we've got stairs after all. Hey, you're not using this giant bucket, are you? <gasps> Thanks! Huh? Now that we've cleaned it out, we'll cut out an opening. Huh, what else do we need? How about more toys? You can never have enough cat toys. And we can use them for a project. Hot glue them to the patch from earlier. You remember from the hole? Add them to the bottom of our can for a soft cushion. Now break out the power tools. We're drilling some holes. After making a few, run some thread through them. It's kind of like a checkerboard pattern. The cats are going to be so happy. Where are they anyway? I uh, think you've got a little something there. Oh, that gives me an idea. Add hot glue, press it down, and it's as good as laminated. Perfect for keychains or personalized collars. This cat toy's interactive. Let's add it to our collection. Cats sure have good taste. This looks fun. Cat food? Maybe we should leave some things to the cats. Oh, it's just a toy. And we've got the perfect place for it. You know, it's a little small. We need to think bigger. Let's get a large glass container filled with water. Fill with stones and marbles. Add a plant. And the finishing touch, these cute little fish. I spy with my little eye, well, her eye, eyes, a plastic bottle. Empty it and cut it up. Take the bottom and hot glue some string in the middle. Now use the string to reattach the two pieces. Add a pom-pom to the top and fill with cat chow. Hang it up. More snacks? These are going to be some lucky cats. Cool. A laser for our cats to catch. Let's try it out. Either it's the laser or she needs to clean her pores. Hard to catch? Just what we need. What's on your head? It's like a fidget spinner. Let's add to the wall. What can't be improved with the addition of stickers? These pictures will help give it a more homey feel. Some more toys. Cats sure know how to live. Maybe we can put this tablecloth to better use. As the curtains for our brand new cat hangout. Yeah. This is where all the cool cats come to play. Great place for a nap. You gotta for a big day of sleeping. Still, look at all the fun stuff to do. Eat grass. Use stuffed animals as a floor. Or just relax. Looks like someone's ready to play too. Or maybe just stretch. You gotta love all the accommodations. And there's still so much more to explore. Who needs steps when you have a giant scratching post to climb? Unwind, watch a little TV, have a drink. Oh no, he's found the cats. I mean, what cats? Oh, it's love at first sight. 
Meowerific stuff. Catch you next time. Hey, those cat eggs were expensive. Oh well, at least we've got a new doll head. What a pretty uh -huh. face. Let's make a copy. <laughs> Except this one's a kitty. Fill it up with a 3D pen. And you've got a new kitty collar. What's going on? Grimace? What happened? I think we should check that tummy. Ooh, let's remove all that slime. And, you know, maybe save it for later. <laughs> now for a quick x-ray. Uh-oh. Well, don't worry. It's nothing a pop tube can't fix. And we'll throw in some new legs, too. <laughs> Let's get the party started with our new bubble machine. But they don't last very long. Why don't we try this new glove? Cut out some holes. Give it a dip, and bubbles appear with a wave of your hand. It's always tempting to play with sand. But even cats prefer the rainbow stuff, at least when it comes to playtime. Give it a dip to keep it in place. Why, it's fun for the whole family! More tea, ma'am? Hey, no jumping on the bed! Remember, if you squish it, you eat it. But the rest is going for a ride. Talk about a speedy delivery. Get ready for the next course. Aw, what a cute pair of eggs. What do you feed your chickens? Oh, slime. <laughs> Guess that answers that. Look, it works wonders for her plumage. Let's try some gummy bears next. Hmm, it might be sticky, but it still tastes great. Careful with A! He cries easily. Oh, guess he's running dry. I think we need to make a few adjustments. Now seal that spray nozzle into place. Add water, and you've got yourself a squirt gun. And they say cats hate water. But why waste water when you can give yourself a drink? Looks like we'll need a refill soon. A little hot air is just what our slime needs. Oh, so that's what happened to our tape. Ooh, let's add paws on each side and really get things rolling. Wow, you know, hot cocoa is a truly magical thing, especially when you use a cappuccino whisk. But first, let's get a cup and some markers.
and it can whip up some new artwork just for you. Especially if you lay down some tape. Now let's add some of our own touches. I'd say it's a pretty good likeness. Ready for lunch? It'll be a while. Cause we're busy with our new fish. But if you want to go big, grab a plastic bottle and add some sticks and rubber bands. Of course, our big fish needs some water. Just remember to bring some towels. You know, you should really fill up that hole. Wait, I've got a better idea. Cut up the top of a water bottle. and fill the other half with fairy lights. Now use that sock to cover it up. It could use a few finishing touches. And it's your new kitty cat lamb. He's part short hair, part blinker. I hope Kitty likes her new iPhone. We made sure to order extra slimy. But we could save that for later. Hmm, let's add some tape on the end. It's like a pore strip for your phone. Now let's try on this clear phone case. Here, you want to try it out? I see you spraying for the bubble wrap airbags. Look, our alphabet friends are here for a visit. And A's just in time for a checkup. Wait, that shouldn't be there. Silly A, you can't eat sponges. But we can still have fun with it. Cause now it's a teddy bear. Meet the whole family. Sorry, she doesn't like cake. So let's draw up another cat. Now blow up a piece of nano tape. Add two right on top of his cheeks. Now place on top of a small box. This cat's not a picky eater. But he sure is a fast one. At least he doesn't eat the bones. When the paint comes out thick, just see what a good scrape can do. Also, googly eyes. They make everything better. But Kitty has her own ideas. Draw a cat with some glue. And add a dash of salt. Watch what happens when you add some color. Wow, now that's going on the refrigerator. Wow. <laughs> oh, look who's here. It's a cute little kitten who lives in a tree. Time for a ride in your basket. Cue the balloons. Ah, flying. It's the only way to travel. The tree kitten has landed. 
Now let's bundle you up like a little burrito. Let's clean you up. We should start with those ears. This calls for heavy duty stuff. Good thing we've got a fingertip toothbrush. Really get in those whiskers and scrub those messy paws. Almost done. You can dry off and cosplay as a bunny at the same time. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've got a special surprise for you. Huh? Put some holes in this milk carton and add some udders on top. Now it's like he's got his own personal cow. But around here, we go all out for snack time. We've got food, we've got water, we've got buttons. And the piece de resistance, the meat bar. Of course, you might be in the mood for sausages. Who said cats don't like dogs, especially hot dogs? Now it's time to have some fun with this long tunnel. Add them to some cardboard boxes. Now our tree kitten has his very own tunnel system. After all, why should hamsters have all the fun? Let's add a little personalization while we're at it. There's no doubt what furry friend lives here. Anyone in the mood for tiny billiards? He'll write the great kitty novel on this. What else? Here's an idea. Grab an old t-shirt. Tie up the ends and hang it up. It's a kitty hammock. Throw on some pillows. Now grab a rubber glove. You only need one. Add it around a cup and fill it up with sand. It's great if you want a tiny chair or a moderate-sized hand. Add a reminder of his favorite person and it's time to explore. I told you he liked her. He plays pool by his own rules. Ah, such a bright sunny day for napping. Hey, be careful on top of that. Even if you can land on your feet. Let's have fun with these paw prints. Add epoxy resin. Decorate any way you want and then add them on a chain. It's a friendship bracelet. Well, a necklace at his size. I've heard of a monkey on your shoulder, but this is better. Run some string through a shower glove's fingertips. Our kitty's not the only one with retractable claws. Now we need to blow up a balloon. Well, that works. Make four of these and tie to each of the strings. It's like a baby mobile and a cat toy rolled in one. Cut up some foam around and cardboard. It's a tiny sink, complete with a tiny mirror. We can even cut up a straw to make a faucet. Add a dial. And what's a bathroom without a bath? Uh, Gesundheit. Is that rain tinsel? How'd that get up there? Hmm, this tub could use some tinsel and pom-poms. After all, cats don't really do water. What the? I don't think your dolls will miss this garland. Time to see if our kitten likes his new water closet. Probably should powder his nose while we're here. Next up, Take a sock, 
and put it on a glass. Fill it up with some soil and seeds, and then some more soil. We'll need to speed things up a bit. Wrap it up and add googly eyes. Why not? Now that you know how to make it, you'll never run out of delicious cat grass. This cat house needs a doorway. Now take the bristles off some toothbrushes and add it to the door. Grooming now just takes a few steps. Time to get out an old plastic bottle. Cut off the end. Now add some hot glue in the middle. Reattach with some string and pull out the neck. Now take a ball and attach with some more hot glue. Just pull it down and it pops open. Now add kibble. And behold, your cat can have treats with the flick of a paw. Why not make one for yourself while you're at it? It's the best of both worlds. Your kitty gets a ball to play with and snacks. Mmm, chips. Eh, never mind. At least we got the two. Tie some jute rope around it. Lasso it up. Add a bunch to the side of one of the boxes. Now your little rock climber can get some exercise. It's also a fun way of going up without stairs. And it's the perfect place for just hanging around. This cute tiny candy ball's the perfect thing for our cute tiny cat. Got something in your throat? Ooh, a fish skeleton. <laughs> Dip it in some paint and decorate the cat's house. That, or just make some fish bone broth. Seaweed in her hair? What, is she a mermaid? Well, it's fish related, so on the box it goes. So tell me, kitty, do you like your new pad? You can just relax and scratch an itch, or go on a little adventure. After all, you're the king of this castle. Who knew that hallways could be so fun? Oh no! He thinks I'm a mouse! Why did I eat all that cheese? He'll be in his equally adorable kitty trailer. Ah, just kidding. This kitty's a real professional. Meow, amazing stuff. Catch you next time. People save baby footprints. Why not do the same for your fur babies? And here comes the fun part. Breaking it all to pieces. Huh, this cat doesn't look like he belongs to anyone. So let's fix that. Make your shirt into a pouch. And bring him to your house. Which shall henceforth be his house. Cats usually clean themselves, but this looks like a big job. At least, skin's easier to clean than fur. This looks like a job for one of our gadgets! A cat brush. And when you're done, look how easy it is to remove the hair. Which also makes it easy to use in crafts. After all, cat hair's better as earmuffs than on your couch. While we're at it, let's do something about those nails. But why stop at just cleaning those nails? These clips fit right on. And think of all the money we'll save on polish. <laughs> wow, lipstick for paws. I would have just called it paw stick. 
<laughs> Good idea, a massager. You know, it's hard work being a cat. Yeah, you should feel nice and relaxed. Now, how can we make this dinner table more cat-friendly? Maybe this cardboard box can help. After all, cats already prefer the box to whatever's inside. And you can do no wrong with some colored tape. Look at all these colors. It's like a rainbow of tape. Hmm. With this plastic bowl, we can make a window. If only it was this easy making a window into a bowl. Aww. What else can we add? <gasps> Honestly, I'm not surprised lawns are free. With all that hassle of mowing them, some people might even pay you to take it. Some free clothes just lying around could be useful. Ah, yes, jeans. Like your skirt, but with legs. Let's stuff it up with some of these other clothes. And tie the legs up together like a pretzel. Our project is almost done. Just add the roof. And a few finishing touches, like these sticky notes. Place them down in a pattern like roof shingles. Oh. Hmm, what else is nice and sticky? Great idea, a sticker! We can personalize our furry friend's new home away from home. Is there anything <laughs> else a cat would like? <gasps> Ooh. These brushes will make fun self-groomers. What else do cats like? <gasps> clothespins? Do cats like clothespins? Okay, I see where she's going with this. A fish mobile. Furnishing a house has never been so delicious. Oh, and what a lovely picture frame. Excuse us, we're just gonna borrow this too. Wow, this mat fits inside the frame. What are the odds? And now we have a brand new scratching post. This flower pot has a lot of space. Cut it open and it's a perfect private makeshift litter box. Oh, water. Cats need water too, right? Let's add a cat water fountain. Just add water. It looks like our fish mobile is yeah. getting nice and pungent. Do you have anything else we could add? These beads could add just the right touch. Let's just run some thread through them. This would make a great friendship bracelet. Wow! But now, tie up the excess string and cut. This way, it ends in a little pom-pom. Make different sizes for your new beaded curtains. <laughs> Next, let's cut up a hole in this stool. Add a plate right on top. And with the help of these silicone molds, we can fill it up with the best custom-made snacks. And just think of all these different flavors. Hmm. She's got that look in her eyes. She's got ideas Ooh. for this traffic cone. 
We'll need to cut up this plastic bottle and add hot glue. Add some around the rim to soften things up. Add to the cone. And fill it up with even more cat treats. <laughs> of course, what's a cat house without a ball of yarn? Except we're gonna use it for our next craft. I wonder if this girl's ever played Cat's Cradle. I feel like it'd be right up her alley. Oh, these plush toys would be great for that net we just made. Of course, you can't have much of a cat house without a cat. Let's see how he likes it. Does he love it or does he love it? A free hat? Well, these wonders never cease. He's having a lot of fun looking at stuff. And would you look at that, he's potty trained with an actual pot. Now to kick back with a nice snack. And some more snacks. The only thing better than having a cat is being a cat. Meow, amazing stuff. Catch you next time. Well, look who just caught a fish. He's gonna need a place to stay. It could use a little decor. Some personal touches. Oh, and water. Our fishy's got a new forever home. If you're wondering why Kitty's practicing taking care of others, she's having kittens. She's gonna be a mommy. Careful, the bugs are out. And some stings. Don't cry. This pump should help. And that's not all. Get the full lips you always wanted. Those duck lips are the cat's meow. Uh-oh, she's gonna need some TP. I don't think those are going to cut it. A cat figurine? Well, grab a pop tube. And it could be the perfect TP holder. Wow, this cat's on a roll. Or is it the other way around? Of course, cats prefer the litter box. After all, it doubles as a sandbox. Add some glue and beads. And those paw prints will last forever. It's important to hydrate. But this special cup needs a special straw. Two grimaces, but they're all smiles. And look, he even plays peekaboo. Well, that's one way to split a hot dog. It's okay, she's got a backup lunch. With a plastic bag cover, you can even cook ramen on a book. And if you keep the book close, you can have a private picnic. Oh, berries don't get any fresher than this. Uh-oh, let's clean those braces. Our little green friend should help. Now squirt out some toothpaste. An electric brush does the work for you. 
especially when your cat lends a paw. <laughs> Guess even cats need to eat on the go. Hmm. Does someone want another cat? <laughs> but our little cat mama can help you make friends. Make a mask. Now grab a toilet paper roll and place it on the back. Now we need some finishing kitty touches. Those eyes! It's like one of those clocks! Well, minus the clock. <laughs> Fall is in the air. Make that hair! Hey, if you want to play with hair, you should give this guy a try. He can grow as much as you want him to. And then, you can cut it down the size. Ooh, did you cut off too much? Well, nothing a few extensions can't fix. Wait till we get to mustaches. Guess not every puss likes to wear boots. Here's an idea. Take some water. Spray in some aerosol paint. And give those booties a dip. Ooh, they're rainbow colored. With little kitties on top. Hey, watch your step! After all, you're not the only one with dirty paws. Actually, that gives me an idea! We can spray on some color over shapes. You get a cool design. And it covers stains with the power of a rainbow. Oh, but we're not done just yet. Oh, what a cute family album. Wait, how'd that get in there? Let's rethink this album. Grab some ice cream sticks. And make a Ferris wheel. Now the pictures will go around and around and around and around. And you can even spin the wheel. You know this Cheetos can put some pep in your step? Just built a little boot around it. Add some paint. Or even better, glitter chair. And you've got new lifts. Now get stepping. On second thought, watch your step. You got paw prints everywhere, don't worry. Enough caramel can cover up any blemish. Give it time to harden and you've got candy. Add a stick and it's a lollipop. Or should we say lollipop? Done with that bottle? Good, we can recycle it. Especially that cap. Add clay and a paper dog. This ain't construction paper, color them in.
For the eyes, let's go with googly. The gang's all here. Let's get rocking. They just keep going and going and going. Wow, a dog making dumplings. Eh, still better than mine. Don't worry, that's what our dumpling maker's for. All you need's the dough and filling and voila. You've got a perfectly wrapped dumpling. Wow. Careful, that might be the one with kibble. Ooh, a bone. Ooh, an even bigger bone. And ooh, a corgi? Kind of breaking the pattern. But at least he seems fun to play with. Give him a treat and watch what comes out. Ooh, careful where you're aiming that. Oh no, not the cheese puffs. I wouldn't eat that. Ew, someone get this dog a diaper. Wow, a candy machine. Looks like you've caught one. This game's a lot of fun for kids. But as for pups, not so much. But maybe then can join in on the fun. We can make our own candy machine. Just with kibble instead of candy. Press a button and the treats come pouring in. It's good thing his head fits in. Hmm, I guess someone ran out of candy. Oh no, Monica's missing. Oh, there she is. So, does this mean I get the reward? Guys, I'll get back to you. For now, let's get crafty. Next time she gets lost, she'll have an ID tag. We'll need her name and a contact number. It's kind of big. Let's shrink it down to size. Bake it in the over and bam, it's bite-sized. Just the right size to fit around her neck. <laughs> it's lunchtime. Guess someone doesn't want to share. I know, grab a pop tube and a funnel. And let the food come right to you. Use a bowl to keep everything in one place. Unless, of course, you want to eat off the floor. All done? Well, let's keep it around for dinner. I heard of dog groomers, but not like this. Oh no, you took off the whole eyebrow? It's okay, this toy has plenty of hair to share. He just keeps it in his blackheads. Good! It should be more than enough. But first, he really needs a shave. This is going to take a lot of shaving cream. Time for a rinse. And that's good enough. What a good boy. You've earned a treat. Ooh, a hot dog. The last food in the house. I probably shouldn't have mentioned that. It's simple solution. Just split it up. You get a piece and so do you. Hey, what about me? Mmm, pizza. Wait, watch out. Oh no. Is the pizza okay? We can rebuild it. Fry up the dough. Okay, this might take a while. 
good. This face is nice and crispy. But a little makeup wouldn't hurt. No one wakes up looking their best. Take a bite. Just eat around the eyelashes. Oh no! Your wig! I told you to tape it down. Don't worry, we'll make you some new hair. Cut up something purple, like onions. Just as long as she looks like an anime character. Start by whipping them up into spirals. Anyone else starting to tear up? Just me? Let's lie her down and see if we have enough. But save some too. I want onion rings. That should be enough. Looking good. Wow. So where are we on those onion rings? <laughs> oh, even the tiniest of hearts can be broken. Don't worry, we'll make you a new friend. Literally, just need a glove, a cup, and some markers. Give it a muzzle, and soon you've got a brand new dog. Tuck it inside. Add a hole in a straw. And blow it up. She's ready. Time for a meet cute. Emphasis on cute. Wow, they really like hot dogs around here. The chase begins. Get back here. Okay, now I'm starting to get dizzy. Hey, don't give up. Get crafty. Or better yet, crafting. Draw a runner in one circle and their legs in another. Cut off the tip of a straw to connect them together. Now these paper dolls will do all the running for you. Add a background and it's like you're in a cartoon. So who won? Hey, let's call it a draw. Ooh, what's in that giant block-shaped box? Oh, that little shirt's sure seen better days. We can spruce it up. Get out those felt tip markers. And I mean all of them. Make a rainbow. Roll it up and add to water for a nice, relaxing soak. Once it dries, help your furry friend become fashion forward. Careful with those paws. Don't you look cute? Well, cuter. And since you're all dressed up, let's dance. Shake that tail. Aw, oh, what a cute little wiener pup. And they blow up so fast, don't they? Still, this pupper could use some fur. Now she's a real dog. Thank you, Blue Fairy. And she's got a surprise. More puppies are on the way. Good thing she went to vet school. Cause it's time for a sonogram. Oh look, someone's having triplets. Which means you're eating for four now. Well, that just proves my point. Good thing we've got our handy dandy pooper scooper. Josh, look at that face. He's so happy to help. Oh, me so full. But me could always eat one more. Pup 
puppy owners need to keep up their strength, too. And if she can get a treat, too, she won't complain. Though you're kind of getting a little messy. Don't worry. This hula hoop will help. Of course, a little water's just common sense. Let's dry you off. And just in time for a little <laughs> costume change. Sometimes you just need a random dance break. But we could do without all this hair. Some durian fruit should help. Slice in half. And add some hot glue. And stick to the wall. Now it's a makeshift scratching post. One that will keep all that hair in one place. Of course, we want puppies to have a little fur. Oh no! And you didn't even overwater it! It's simple. Our pup needs a secret garden all her own. Ooh, let's add treats our dog will appreciate. Eh, maybe make sure they get in the hole. Come on, girl. It's time to look for buried treasure. And maybe you should try trimming them. Uh-oh. Someone got into some paint. Still, these are some nice paw prints. Cut them out and shrink them in the oven. Now that's what I call puppy size. And they're your collar's crowning glory. Ooh, are the sheep visiting? Wait, no, someone's teething. Don't worry, we'll give you something to chew on. Stuff up some tights. And we mean plural. Now staple them up together. Well, this should give us a hand. You know, there's always time for a manicure. And now, you've got the best seat in the house. Hot dog! That is one big sausage. You know, bread's not the only thing that can be a soup bowl. Besides, she likes her ramen to have extra meat. And there's plenty to go around. Okay, we really need to start cleaning under here more often. Or at least keep better track of our tennis balls. With a little needling, keep them on a string. In fact, this works for all sorts of things. Hang them up. It's like a party in a cube. Of course, all good parties need snacks. Now for the big unveiling. It's like a puppy playroom. The piece de resistance. The tennis ball. Oh, she's gonna sleep good tonight. Silly puppy, that's for drinking. Uh, sort of. Good thing it comes in fun size. Press the button and fill her up. Have a drink. And when you're done, how about some TP? Ooh, a watermelon. Let's slice it up. Well, that's one way to do it. Still, we'll need a few more cuts. Now it's time to scoop out the good stuff. But first, we're gonna need the rind. With some eyes and ears, 
It's a puppy! Hmm. As for the red stuff, let's get out the cookie cutter and make some fun shapes. With all these animals, it's our very own zoo. Now, one for me, one for you. It's selfie time. Well, that's not going on the fridge. Don't worry. All you need is some handy dandy cardboard. Time to put those art classes to work. All that green can only mean one thing. It's a dinosaur! Well, almost. <laughs> we still need a head. And we've got just the right one. Perfect. You can be anything. Huh? The limit's your imagination. Sometimes puppies need help communicating. But all you need are just a few buttons. Now your dog can let you know what it needs. Whether it's playtime. Or just a drink. Or even a little pampering. After all, it's hard work being this cute all the time. Now it's time for a massage. Or, as she calls it, a belly rub. Well, I guess your photo needs a new frame. Better yet, let's get a document folder. Now you can finally give your photos an outline. Like you're in your very own cartoon. Huh, that's an idea. We'll just need a projector. Tape it on. Add some light. And enjoy the show. This is just what the wall needs. Go grab some paint. And put those tracing skills to work. A pacifier? Oh, that gives me an idea. It just needs another cut. And we can add a Scooby snack inside. Let's add a decoration while we're at it. Aw, now she's giving us a smile. Is anyone else feeling dizzy? Oh, it's laundry day. Hmm, I guess those jeans were dry clean only. Well, at least we know someone they'll fit. Something tells me this happens a lot on laundry day. Well, now they're two of a kind. You know, you should really take turns. Don't forget, she's got an audition for a kibble commercial in an hour. So, when can we expect the puppies? Bow wow-tastic stuff. Catch you next time.